what's up and welcome to Electrical Solutions YouTube channel. Today we are going to be uh, taking a fluorescent light and bypassing the ballast and putting in some direct wire LED lamps. Uh, we're also changing the color temperature. This is about a 3000 K. It will be going to a cool white at 4100 K. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take these clips here and push them down and it will open up the light here. Then we'll remove these old bulbs. All right, then the next thing we'll do is remove this pan. These can be kind of a pain in the butt to get out. You've got to kind of angle it. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect the power to make it safe to work on. We need to remember. So with it disconnected here now, what we'll do is we'll cut these leads to each side. This one has two whites and a red coming from over here and here and the same thing over here. So we'll try and make these as long as we can get them uniform with the one that's running next to it. So we'll take him up here and we'll cut him as close as we can to the ballast. And then we'll undo these as well. Cut them also. And then we're going to take one of these and cap them off, cap it off. We're going to use the longer one for the LED retrofit. So that, this one's a tad bit shorter. So we'll cap him off and tie him back in here. So if you see right here, you have black and a red. What you have is A and B switching. So it's meant to turn on in zones. You can turn on one switch and get light throughout the whole building, um, but not a lot of light. You turn on the other switch and it will light up the entire floor. The next thing what we're going to do is take out these ballasts. They just have two screws right here. Now we will strip all the wires. So now we have to decide which side is going to be our neutral or our white side and which side is going to be our hot side or our black side. I typically like to keep it all the same if I'm doing a lighting project and I've been doing uh, the hot to the east side of the building so we're going to keep it that way. So I'll take these and get them just started barely together, tighten it down. You don't want to go too tight because you can break the small solid wire pretty pretty easy so we just want to see that it's wrapping right here letting me know there's a solid connection then we're gonna do the same thing with this side now what we'll do is we'll tie in our connector here and then we'll take all these wires and kind of wrap them to a, to itself to make it so there's a little bit of strain on it but not enough to pull it out but enough to keep it up so when we put the belly pan on it goes in there without any problem. Bring it up and then tie it one more time. Give it a good twist. Now we'll take the, the belly pan and put the belly pan back on. I like to start the belly pan on the side that's hot just because it's safer. You're not going to put it in here. It's not going to shorten the case because you have to do a little bit of manipulating. So we'll get them in there. We want to make sure we're not pinching any wires. So he's in. All right. And now what we'll do is we will put in these lights. So they do have a, a line side and a neutral side. The neutral is going to be the white side and the line side will be the black side. I always put in the neutral side first 
uh, just so there's not power going through it and it touches the case and it can spark or trip. I think they do have a fail safe in them in case that happens, but I just don't like to take that precaution. And I like to take that precaution. You have to angle these to get them in also. All right, and that's how you uh, switch it over to LED. It's nice, better color, more bright. Then we'll take this back, push it in. You, don't, you have to bring it out just a little bit, hook it back in, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.